How many of you are contemplating raising a child in a city? Well, if you haven't, I'm here to explain to you why it is a great idea. So by the age of 12, my friends and I were easily able to manage or to navigate through a complex subway system in New York City. I was raised in New York City, if you didn't know by now. Hence the shirt. <laughs> we were also able to identify a tourist. We were also able to identify a tourist from a local. And we were also able to order Starbucks from fluent Starbucks right there. You always see those people ordering Starbucks, and it's like, do you understand what you're ordering? <laughs> anyways, anyways, I'm going to touch on four points today. I believe that kids that are raised in the city are highly independent, they're very logical, they're also open to pluralistic views, and they are highly exposed. They are used to seeing people of other cultures, um, diversity, per se. So, the first point, I'm going to start off with a story. So when I was younger, I was 11 years old, I traveled to Egypt with my mom and a bunch of friends, and they all went out to the city in Cairo, and I was left with my cousins. And we you know, said, we're going we're to go and explore. So we went and explored, we got a little lost. This thing really sucked. But um, having grown up in New York City, I was able to, we were all able to kind of rally ourselves and say, you know, we're from the city, like, this is a big city, we can navigate ourselves, we can find a cab, we can use it, utilize public transportation, we can try to speak Egyptian to, to speak to people, but we were able to navigate our way back home. We weren't lost in the city for the entire day, which is great. Subway is, well, utilizing the subway is required. So in terms of being independent, as a child, I traveled to school day by day by myself. I had to go and get my own lunch. Um, so in that sense, I was independent. Um, <clears throat> two, we are also very logical. So as I said, I, I utilize the subway system, which covers over 100 different stations 11,000 miles of track, and it's 22 different subway lines, so it's huge. I wish I had a hand up. Um, <laughs> and so, there are, there are hiccups when you're traveling on the subway. There are alternate lines, you know, sometimes, you know, your train doesn't come and you want to take a different train. But eventually you're going to get to your end location. But it requires that, you know, a sense of being logical to know that, like, oh, the 4 train's not going to come, let me take the F train to the A train that'll take me to the F train that's in Manhattan to eventually get to school or whatever place I was going. Um, so we are very, very logical, having been raised in New York City. Um, we are also constantly exposed to people. We're ready to navigate ourselves, or not navigate, we're ready to interact with people of other races. Me, as a child, I went to school with someone who's Chinese, from Bali, from many different places around the world, and I can actually say that I'm comfortable with interacting with people of other races just because we were exposed to each other. <clears throat> also, from the, coast, from the constant exposure with millions of people around the city, I'm also able to say that I have street smarts. I can identify, you know, if I'm walking on the street, there's a sketchy guy over there. I'm not going to say, whoa, that guy's sketchy, and you know, make a big deal of it. I'm just going to, you know, move away. Um, so, street smarts. And lastly, pluralism, dualism, and being able to, you know, balance those two things with being pragmatic. Um, I guess I'm trying to say that, having been raised in New York City, in a very, very big city, with many different types of people, many different cultures, there's no one right way to live, there's no one right political view, social view, whatever, whatever. I was able as a child to break away from those judgments when my mom raised me, um, I guess those core values, and to be able to develop my own understanding of the world after learning about everyone else's views. You guys kind of understood what I just said. <laughs> um, so there are less judgments in general having grown up in the city because I understand um, the views of other people. Um, so in conclusion, City kids are used to having to move around on our own. We are independent, we are logical, and we're able to make educated decisions based on where we are. And also, it's a great place to raise children. It really is. Um, I know there are many dangers about the city. I mean, the early overexposure to drugs and alcohol, that could be a thing, but that's a thing anywhere. Um, and you know, there are a lot of people, you know, with more people, you get more dangers. Um, but lastly, if your child can order Starbucks and influence Starbucks and ease, they will surely get the A-call program uh, of their choosing. So thank you.